Welcome back to my channel guys, it is Mort here from Amalgamation Gaming with episode 3 of Clash of Clans Reality. So today we are actually taking a look into the clan war leagues and I will be using a drag bat attack strategy for this particular attack. So let's quickly take a few look on at some pointers. So firstly our town hall is up towards the top of the base so we'll be coming in with our dragons from there to try and sort of create that that pathing so our dragons are going to come in from the top next what we need to do is we need to start creating our pathing so how are we going to do that we are going to be deploying our king to the left side of the base and we will be dropping our queen to the right side of the base our targets that we want is we ideally want the queen to take out the enemy queen we want the queen to take out the wizard tower and hopefully the single inferno as well as just clearing some of these buildings to the right for the king we want the king to take out some buildings hopefully go into the base take down the wizard tower as you don't want any splash damage on your dragons so um air defenses will freeze those air defenses or will come in with a rage whichever you prefer but ideally you don't want any splash damage and you you don't really want single inferno single infernos do a lot of damage but they not like a weak spot for a normal dragon per se they are definitely a weak spot for an electro dragon second thing that we can look out for guys is we have one two three air defenses that oh, oh sorry expos that's actually set to ground and one that is set to air so this definitely comes to our advantage especially in a base like this with all three of the wizard towers being here to the bottom that really helps us with our um with our bats once we deploy them because once this wizard tower right here is knocked out we can actually come in as there's no splash damage here we can come in with our bats but let's have a look okay so our king coming into the left as we said followed by a baby dragon to help him with that funnel or with that pathing same with our queen to the right followed by one minion and i'm just deploying an, a random archer you just want to snipe out some of those buildings as you can see our archer in this corner here she's just doing a little bit of damage there okay so the pathing you can see that the baby dragon actually cleared out these two buildings which forces our king to go into the base and if you can see why it is because the the archer tower is much closer to the king than the elixir collector so the king is actually just going to come in there which is perfect because what we're actually going to be doing is our dragons will be deployed at the top area of the base so the dragons will just come straight in through sorry i actually see that this was an this was a ground this was an air um a expo i just couldn't see it because it was facing the other way if it was turned i could have seen that but anyway so we've got one air expo there and then we have a second air expo to our right but these two are still ground so that's not a problem so anyway the king as we said is going to come back into the archer tower right here we our dragons will literally just have a lovely path straight into this base all the way to the town hall guys okay so let's ch shift our focus to the queen so we draw the enemy cc troop right here which is very good um our queen is still going very strong she's actually not going to be taking these two buildings which we wanted her to take initially but not a problem because we have our stone slammer so if you have stone slammers available um or if you can request them from your clan don't just deploy them in with your dragons try and see how you can use them to your advantage to help create those pathings or not even just to take down or to create the pathing actually um how they can be of value to you in my case if i deploy my stone slammer with the cc troop in as well i'm pretty much sure that i'm going to be getting the single inferno as well as this wizard tower so that's already huge value i mean that's two solid defense buildings that's out of your head let's see what is happening okay so our queen goes down not a problem all of our dragons coming in here followed by our grand warden where they will be taking a lot of damage we will be activating the warden's ability have not activated it as yet dropping a rage spell over those um over those air defenses followed by the warden's ability as they're taking a lot of damage you can see that my stone slammer went down to the right i dropped a rage spell because now i'm going to enhance my balloons that's coming out of it and they 
freezing that electro dragon our balloons are taking down an air defense which is lovely freezing the eagle artillery with the with the um with the hidden tesla that was there so our dragons are in the clear there nothing to sweep them out they'll definitely be taking out that eagle and now we are almost ready to deploy our bats but let's just look at what is left okay so what what do we need to take down okay we need to take down the single inferno we also need to take down the air defense the air defense will always do a lot more damage to our dragons you actually do you don't really need to care about this too much as you can see its angle its angle is not going to be touching any of our dragons or our balloons to the right so they have a lovely clear passing where they come in just an air expo but that is that's not really that bad because they'll actually just go over once our balloons or our dragons start attacking the expo you can see that it is just out of range of this wizard tower right here okay so let's see what we are doing we are coming in with our bats to the left look at what they're doing guys that single inferno it's not really going to do much but we're just freezing it in any case so as you can see our bats are coming in and they are going to destroy the single inferno they are not going to be doing a lot of damage continuously because of this wizard tower right here which does take them down but they've done enough they've taken down that single inferno which would have been a threat especially to our single dragon at the top or our single dragon to the left because it's one dragon versus a single inferno the single inferno will definitely take it out it doesn't have a herd but our herd of dragons are still coming in at the bottom they are doing huge damage and they will not be going down guys this is a three star and that is a, I think that is a nice view of the um, the drag bat attack strategy. I'll also be um, I'll also be doing much more attacks with these and we can just cover what we look out when we do these attacks, what we look for, um, perks, some pros, some cons, but whatever you guys think, please let me know in the comments. Um, any helpful tips, um, any advice, any suggestions, anything that you would have